Welcome back everyone. In today's video, Jake says, I created a site origin blog carousel on my front page, but I like how you had it with three posts showing up without a carousel. How did you do that? I'd like to have that. And I'd like to give you that, Jake. So let's see how we do it. Um, we're gonna look at the Sydney demo site here because that uses page builder. But you could also just look at a uh, site origin demo such as Vantage, because they use the carousel and they also use the blog post layout. So, wow, they've really updated Vantage. This looks phenomenal. Well, to find an example of the carousel, we could just look at Jake's blog. Hope you don't mind, Jake. Your site's really modern and cool and like just fun. And it looks like a combination of Sydney and Vantage sort of style is kind of the best of both. Love the parallax. But we want to get rid of this carousel heel here because it doesn't really cover the whole page. Um, you want to have a wealth of knowledge on your homepage and you want people to be able to scroll through blog posts and not have to scroll sideways because people aren't really used to that. So to get rid of this carousel, the easiest way to do it is just to go to your dashboard and come down to settings and click reading and then make um, homepage displays your latest posts so that will give you your blog post with a nice big featured image and however many posts you want um, so you can change that amount and that'll be on your homepage then you'll get three posts or more if we do this static page option then the homepage is a specific page we made and the posts are on the blog so you get the posts on the blog all right, but this could be on the homepage if you want. So that's one way to solve this problem. Um, however, if you're using the page builder like Jake is, and this is a uh, row, you know, with its own widget inside of it, a good idea is just to custom make your own blog widget using a blank text widget. So to do that, we can create something sort of like the About Us page on Sydney, where we have a featured image of our choosing and then some text. You'd be amazed how much potential just a simple text editor gives you. And uh, so let's see what we can make. So if we click edit page, we can click add a row and we can make this one uh, column and insert. We'll drag it up up here and now click to add a widget, add widget. And now we're going to use the text editor, site origin editor. Perfect. If you don't have this editor, make sure to install the tiny MCE black visual editor plugin. Now we can just click to open it and we're just going to create our own little custom blog widget. Believe it or not, you can create the same effect as sort of the blog page, just using a text widget like this. So first we need some media, click add media. Now let's get ourselves a nice image here. We're gonna align this to the left and keep the size large enough that it's high quality and insert into page. Now let's click on the image and drag it to an appropriate size. We can also click to the text tab and make the image a certain width, like 200 pixels and go back to visual. Now you can basically just create your own styling here, like by Greg, shift enter, shift enter. Okay, you might have to go back to the text tab to get the styling and the formatting perfect and just how you want it. So we can cut out the text and put it below the image so it'll float all to the right of the image. And then you can write, the little snippet about the post. And then you can write out your own read more link. You could even get the um, read more symbol. So I'm just gonna copy this little arrow from your blogger and any symbol you see on the web you can use. And then you can paste that in. I don't know what you call that, but it looks pretty uh, professional. And then you can totally create your own widget like this. So let's go back to visual make those spacings a little larger. Let's give ourselves a little more text here just because your blog snippet previews might be longer. 
Let's see how to make the text look good. All right, very cool. We can make our uh, featured image a little bit bigger, maybe 250, so it covers all the text. Now we can easily add some links. So if you go to the site you're working on and you go to your blog page, then you can click on the link to a post like this nice little gallery one and just copy the link. And now you can put that link on the image by clicking on the image, clicking edit, and then click link to custom URL and then just paste that in there. Update. Very cool. Now if you go back to the text tab, you can see that image has a link on it with the A tags. And you can also link things like your name. So you can just click on your author link on your blog page and grab this author link. And put that right on your name. And this is just like WordPress does, except for they have this written out in the appearance editor files. So it applies to every blog post but we're creating it manually so you get the full concept of how it works. Now you can just click on the blog post again and we're gonna put that on the read more anchor text. All right, you can just put that on read more. And you might think this is a lot of work and it kind of is, but if you wanna really create a specific look that you've seen on other themes or on other websites, this is how to do it. This is what I recommend. You can put in different fonts, colors, you can align things in different places, whatever. Now let's click done and update and see what we made. So now when we view page, we see we have this little sample blog post down here and you can create multiple of these and just stack them so it looks like a normal blog homepage. So let's see how to do that. And while we're at it, let's also give this a title and reduce the amount of text in our little snippet here so that the read more floats to the right of the image. Edit page. Plus, you know, people ain't gonna read that much. Cut this off by about a sentence. You can go to visual and make a space and then write in a title. Now we're just gonna highlight the title that we wanna make and go to paragraph. H4 looks good. And you can also link this to the blog post itself. Just grab the link from the image if you'd like, and then just go ahead and put that link in the H4. Link, boom, add link. Now we're in business and we're gonna click done. And then we're gonna clone this widget. So we're gonna click, uh, we're gonna hover on the, the wrench and click duplicate. And duplicate one more time and update. Now let's view page and we can see our nice little stack of blog posts here. So you would obviously reduce the padding in between the rows back in page editor and you would change the images and the titles so they'd be different posts. But but this is how you would create your own custom blog page layout from scratch so that you could put this on the home page or on any page and you could display your blog post features. Let's make it look perfect though just because we got plenty of time now. So edit it and we're gonna actually delete the bottom two. Yes, for sure. Now let's click to open it one more time. Let's reduce that spacing. Just because we really, really want everything to float to the right of the image. We don't want it below the image. Be great if WordPress would not do that weird styling stuff to us. But of course it's doing it to us. So you might have to kind of wrestle with the text editor a little bit just to make it look perfect, but you will do just fine. Just moving around an H4 tag here. It's definitely worth it, believe me. Okay, done and now we're gonna hover on the wrench and click edit row and we're gonna get rid of all the padding. So let's go to layout and we're gonna to do top bottom padding zero, bottom margin zero. Very cool and click done. And now we can really duplicate it and we should get a good result. Duplicate, 
duplicate, update, view page. Perfect, we just have to get that read more link in the right place. But if someone doesn't wanna click read more, they could at least click on the image or the title and it'll take them right to the blog post. All right, so I know that was a little bit of work there to create a custom blog post featured section where you can display your blog posts however you want. Um, but now when you have new content, all you need to do is just swap out the images, swap out the text, swap out the titles. You don't need to recreate the whole thing. So I've done this on blogs to great success. I've done this for my interns. I've done this for readers, you know, and um, if you're up for the extra designing and HTML editing, this can, can result in something really amazing and a really great look. All right, I hope that helps you make a blog post section from scratch. And uh, thanks a lot to Jake for asking the question that inspired this tutorial. Please make sure to subscribe so that you get the answer to your question if you're featured and you get all the latest in WordPress how-to and tips. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.